Hi, this is veterinary dental specialist Joe Banyard and I'm going to talk to you about tooth anatomy. In order to understand dentistry, you need to understand tooth anatomy. This is a diagram of a one-rooted tooth. The yellow shows the enamel. This is the hardest tissue in the body and covers the crown of the tooth. In this picture, it is yellow, but in your dog, cat, it is white. It's very thin in real life, about 0.7 millimeters in thickness. It forms while still in the bone, and when the tooth first appears in the mouth, it has completely formed and does not get thicker. Under the enamel is the dentin, which is also very hard, and it continues to thicken during the life of the animal. Inside is the pink pulp cavity, where the blood vessels and nerves are. At the bottom of the root of the tooth, which is under the gum line, is the apical delta, where the vessels and nerves enter into the pulp. And between the root and the surrounding bone is the very strong periodontal ligament, which attaches the root to the bone. Now let's look at the gums. The gums are attached to the tooth by the junctional epithelium at the cementoenamel junction. They go up to a very thin flap all the way around the crown, and this flap is not attached to the enamel. This is called the free gingival margin, and the gap between the tooth and the free gingival margin is called the sulcus. This is very important, so remember this for future videos. The gum, called the attached gingiva, is really tough tissue and is attached to the bone underneath. It is able to withstand chewing and is around the bottom of the crown. It protects the health of the tooth and the tooth needs at least two millimeters of this at the bottom of the crown. The bone that surrounds the tooth is called the alveolar bone and the tooth sits in a socket called the alveolus. The bone supports the tooth. No bone, no support. Remember this. Look at the cancellous bone. This is like a sponge and has a rich network of blood vessels and nerves. On the outside of the cancellous bone is compact bone that lines the outside of the jawbone and surrounds the root of the tooth. Note that the vestibular mucosa is the tissue that fans out from the attached gingiva and this lines the lips and the cheeks. It's very mobile and carries blood vessels and nerves and also muscles. So here is everything together. Here is a two-rooted tooth and dogs and cats have several of these and they also have three-rooted teeth. The anatomy is basically the same as the one-rooted tooth, except there is bone between the joint roots, and this is called the interradicular bone, and the arch of the tooth is called the vocation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Bye.